Hey everyone, sorry, phone ran out of space and cut me off. Okay, so let's do uh, a quick example here of a two-step problem. So we have to remember that we can only use trig, right angle trig on right angle triangles. So you can only use Sokoto on right angle triangles. So that means we cannot actually solve this whole problem in one step. So if I'm looking for X here, I don't have enough information just on this triangle yet, and we can't use just this whole triangle here. It has to be right angle triangles. Now, even though this kind of looks like it's splitting the triangle perfectly in half, it's not. Okay, these two angles are separate, so this is not directly in the middle. So we have to split this triangle up into two triangles. Okay, so on your practice problems today, there's a few questions like this where you have multi-step problems. So that's why I just want to run through one with you. Okay, so this side here um, is that shared side that both triangles have in common. Okay, so that's what we're going to look for because we can use this triangle to find out information about this triangle. So we're going to look for that step first. So label your sides. And then write out your ratio. Okay, so sine theta equals O over H. I'm going to fill in what I know. Okay, get my variable all by itself, and then solve. Okay, so it'll be 20 times sine 40 will equal that middle side there. So I can type 20 times sine 40 equals. Okay, so 12.9, because I have to round up here, equals y. If you can, to be the most precise, don't round this at all, but that's okay, I won't be too picky on this part. Okay, so now we know that this side here is 12.9. So now I'm going to label this triangle. Okay, so we're still working with our sine ratio. And remember, I want to see you writing out this ratio before you fill it in, okay? You get marks for that. Sorry, I'm going to change this angle. Actually, no, that's fine, whatever. Um, sine 30 equals 12.9 over X. Okay, so X is on the bottom this time, right? So here we would move X over to this side and then we would take this whole thing and move it underneath here, right? So I showed you that long way to do it, but the shorthand way was to just swap what's on the left side with what's on the right side. So sine 30 travels as a whole package. Remember, sine 30 is a specific number, okay? We're just not finding that number yet because it's a, a usually a really long decimal. This one won't be, but usually it's a really long decimal and you don't want to round it. Okay, so in my calculator, I could just type this all out and it would be fine. If you have a calculator that doesn't let you do that, you have to do 30 sine and then you have to save that number somewhere. So write that decimal out and then do 12.9 divided by the decimal. Okay, so you really need to practice with your calculator. It's the hardest part of this. You need to get familiar with your own calculator. So I can type 12.9 divided by sine 30 in brackets there, and I get 25.8 as my final answer. Okay, so if you don't have um, a calculator with that input, you would need to figure out what sine 30 is first. So you would type 30 sine, and typically it's a really long decimal, okay? Sine 30 is just 0.5, but typically with an angle, you'd have a really long decimal, and you'd have to write that all out. So you'd have to write 12.9 divided by typically what the whole decimal is, because you can't round it, okay? And then you would have to actually divide that. Okay, but if you have a nice calculator with that input line, it helps. 
Okay, so that's it. Um, hopefully you can flip back through these videos if you get stuck and you need help going through some trig problems. Um, so work on the practice slideshow, work diligently, make sure you're checking your answers, um, and then let your guest teacher know when you're all done so that you can work on the assignment, okay? And hopefully we will be back to normal tomorrow. All right, see ya.